Welcome to RV and Travel Adventures. My name is Jesus Manuel Menagarza. Today I'm going to be showing you my favorite small motorhome, a 2024 Coachman Crosstrail 21XG. I can see myself uh, going in the Baja, going on a beach, going down some uh, dirt and gravel roads with this 2024 Coachman Crosstrail 21XG. In the back is the restroom and the bed up front. You have the J Lounge and the kitchen area. A very nice class C or a B plus. It's all a matter what your perspective is. The exterior length is 24 feet, uh, one inch. The exterior height, 10 feet, four inches. The exterior width, seven feet, seven inches. Fresh water capacity, 41 gallons. Gray, almost 60. It's at 59 gallons. So we're at Motorhome Specialist in Alvarado, Texas. It was a super, super windy day. They have quite the inventory. I was down there and I walked around and I go, man, this is the most uh, motorhomes I've seen down there in quite a while. Class B, B plus, C, Super C, you know, Class A, $2 million RVs, $100,000 RVs. They had it all down there. This version of the uh, Coachman Crosstrail gets the blacked out wheels and uh, step area. This uh, step area is perfect for uh, folks with muddy boots. Again, it's super, super windy. This uh, motorhome takes unleaded fuel, not diesel. It's not an EV. You have two side marker cameras. Uh, you can check out what's going on on each side. Feel comfortable uh, knowing uh, what's on your side. Especially good when you're making those lane changes. Here's the Flex Power 4000i. It's uh, good with uh, propane or gasoline. I will talk with the uh, RV dealership to make sure if you can use both or only one at a time if it has to be configured. Again, it's made by the folks at RV Mobile Power, Columbus, Ohio. A fantastic product from what I've heard. Next to the generator is uh, where they keep the batteries. Let me open this up for you. It has uh, magnetic holes. You have the option of 400 or 800 uh, amp hours of uh, very nice high quality lithium batteries it has anderson plugs and solar on the roof there's your water heater and your heater it's made by the folks at fogati typically they're suburban and other brands but for this first time i've seen something by fogati City water connections, uh, winterization inlet, uh, antenna connections, black tank flush, etc. Yeah, Firestone, Transforce AT2 tires, and again, blacked out rims. At the usual location, you have your drains. Yeah, one gray on this side, two on the other, and you also have a black tank flush. Here's a view underneath. Again, you get six tires. Very, very nice. Here's a driver's side view. What I like about this uh, motorhome is that it's compact. My wife and I, who are used to tent camping and truck bed camping, find this a definite step up. And it's very nice for going off grid, not necessarily off road, but off grid, down those gravel and dirt roads. This RV is prepped for the on the go ladder. I would recommend asking the salesperson, sales manager, or the manufacturer if the ladder is included in the price. Also, a question for the uh, dealership is, how much can this actually tow? Some say 3500 some say 5000 uh, 
who knows? You have to talk to the salesman. Hopefully the salesman is uh, abreast of the latest info. That's a good size door. Of course, uh, it's the perfect, absolutely perfect area to put your expensive bikes, your canoes, your kayaks, your extra luggage. You have a screen door here in case you want to get some of those uh, cool ocean breezes, those cool mountain breezes. Very nice. Of course, that closes, so you can have, a, again, a screen door. Let me show you inside. You can have uh, your kayak nicely strapped down, your bicycles nicely strapped down, tie-down hooks. You have four of them there. Perfect. Up here you have uh, some alternating current and some uh, receptacles and for the antenna and some lights, some puck lights. Up there is the fan. And on the right side is the bed and that plops down, Murphy bed style. So you have to take out the bed, you know, your uh, odds and ends. You can leave some luggage down there, but you, if you have some bikes, you got to take them outside. Lock them up. Put a lot of locks on them. Make sure nobody uh, absconds with them. Check out my Patreon page, patreon.com slash JMM Garza. Thank you very, very much. There's your propane quick connect. The hose just, uh, you can yank it out and extend it out for a uh, cooktop, whatever you want. Again, these are the two other uh, pulls for the gray tanks. Very nice. And there's your exhaust for your Ford Transit. Again, this uh, unit is uh, built atop a Ford Transit body. <coughs> For, for uh, frame. It's a cutaway chassis. There's your uh, quick water connect. Your GFCI protected alternating current. Two plugs there, receptacles, and a place for your antenna. And of course, above to the left is a little puck where you can attach a TV. Again, this is the Cross Trail Extreme Edition. Very, very nice. That's where you get the black you know, blacked out rims, etc. These have sliding windows, not the typical awning style, but these sliding windows allow more air ventilation. Do you want more air ventilation? Some folks do, others want the style. I tried pulling this out, but I couldn't figure it out. I have issues sometimes. This is a propane stove. So you have inside an induction uh, stove and outside a propane stove so you have options down here is where the propane is located and of course you can fill it up at any uh, shop that sells propane and propane sells pretty much for the same price as gasoline typically and right there is solar on the side where you can connect a solar suitcase again on the roof you do have some solar panels There's your mirrors, and they extend quite a bit, and of course you have some side cameras also. So you can get a good view of the traffic around you. Finally, it's quiet inside. And uh, over here you have some receptacle, ground fault circuit interrupting uh, receptacle, some USB-A connections. Down here you have the uh, gas, DSI, a Wi-Fi Ranger, water heater, water pump, etc., etc., and your generator start, and you can prime it right there and uh, extend, etc. Your armless awning—it has a very nice awning, by the way. Yes, it does have a very nice awning. Not some cheap awning, a very nice awning, indeed. So we're up front. Again, this is a cutaway chassis of a Ford Transit van. The folks at uh, Coachman did an excellent job with this unit. You have plenty of cup holders. Uh, you have one on the left. Uh, you have three in the middle. And you have one on the right. You have plenty of areas on top there to throw maps, etc. You have two displays. I think one is for the uh, 
your observation camera in the back, and the other one is for your side marker cameras, and also your Ford Entertainment and Information System. So what do you think of this Ford Transit van? I love it a lot. And of course, it goes down the road rather readily. It's not a slow poke. It works and goes up those hills in Colorado, in the Sierras, with no issues. Seriously, no issues. <laughs> Unless you overload this uh, van, uh, your Class B+, plus, your Class C. Check out my photographs, my RVing and travel photographs at rvtamyportfolio.com. Check it out. Uh, the photos are downloadable for non-commercial use. So here's that J-Lounge. It has a very nice fabric. It has a table with two uh, pedestal mounts. So here's a close-up of the fabric and the materials. Very well done and executed. High quality. I really appreciate the quality of this Coachman product. You know, the area there where you can put a cup, etc., etc. This table has a sort of like a linen finish. It's a laminate table. It's relatively lightweight. Again, it has a linen finish. These are some items I found on the floor. A spray port, a couple uh, pedestals, and a sp sprayer. Uh, very nice. You have one two, three seat belts in the back and plus two seat belts in the front so you have room for five folks. Again, this is perfect to go to the soccer match, the football game, the baseball game, the kids, uh, you know, you know, hanging out at the park uh, just to go to a, a festival, etc. This not only can be used for camping, but to go to events just to take the crew and have some good times and have some stuff in the fridge that you can hang out and enjoy. You can sit at these tables and say, hey, I'm going to have a beverage and a sandwich. Thank you very much. So those are the day-night shades. On the left you have a, a little cubby and on the right side you have a cubby. In the middle you have a very nice Samsung TV. Over here you have an HDMI you know, connection, you know, area for your antennas and alternating current. Again, this is made by the folks in, of Samsung in South Korea, not North Korea. South Korea. This opens up by a little touch of that little bar there. Very nice. Excellent hardware. What do you think of this hardware? Again, leave your kind and friendly comments below, your professional comments. And you have three areas for storage up here. Each one is sequestered. Each one is uh, secure from things flying out, pretty much. You do have to give it a little shove. There we go. And it locks it in place. You have one, two, three areas where you can sequester your stuff. There's your controls for your air conditioner and your heater. From what I understand, I am not perfect. I do make mistakes. I would recommend talking to the salesperson, the manufacturer, the sales manager, and hopefully they have the right answers for you. There's a little extension table. And again, that in the surface, they left some nails in here. I do not know why. This just came fresh from the factory. And they haven't cleaned it up quite yet at motorhome specialists. I'm pretty sure they'll uh, clean it out and make it look really, really nice. Nice backsplash, by the way. And again, this uh, linen finish countertop. It's a two burner induction cook cooktop by the folks at Greystone. Again, two burner induction cooktop. And then you have these uh, blinds over here. Circa 1960. <laughs> you have one light there, uh, another light over here. And then you have the controls, I think, for the lights there. And you have some receptacles way, 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 way back there. Let me open these up. Again, these are laminate doors. Excellent, excellent hardware. This goes back quite a bit. It's a perfect spot for your, uh, your tea kettle. Don't forget to check out my Facebook group. There's my links right there, and they're also in the description.
There's a view from to the back. Again, sink, induction cooked up. On the left side, you have uh, two storage areas, two doors, and there's the sink, and you can, uh, if you have any issues, you can fix it rather readily. A nice uh, view of the hardware again. I really like this hardware. What do you think? And another storage area. I think this would be perfect for your chemistry, for your garbage can with a nice little cover. Two drawers behind this door that plops down. Nice and wide. Perfect for probably flatware, cookware. Who knows? Maybe also your some of your spices, etc. etc. Your choice. Nice glides, not great glides, good glides. Let me close this up. I don't know what's back there. I have no idea. So there's the WIFCO power management switch, circuit A or circuit B. Here's your high point convection microwave grill. Does it all. <laughs> Very nice. And let me put that in there. Again, uh, this is perfect for this size of motorhome. Let me slam that shut. Again, it's by the f fine folks at High Point. Let's take a peek at the floor. Again, this unit hasn't been uh, prepped yet, cleaned up to uh, put on the showroom floor. So they got to get out the, to send out the lady or the dude to clean up this uh, unit. Tighten up some screws, adjust some odds and ends. There's the heater. Behind this door, three rather tall. And the top one is especially tall drawers and you can put your post toasties there your wheaties your granola whatever you want your canned goods etc etc perfect absolutely perfect three drawers with nice little handles that you can readily grip they go back about uh, three quarters of the way They've hidden the pads, the cushions for the bed, uh, for the J lounge, and there's the uh, where you can hang some clothes. Down here you have two more very large drawers and a section underneath where you can hide some odds and ends also. They pull out rather readily. There's a nice tight shot of the uh, hardware. Uh, these slides are average. They're not great. They're average. Uh, I probably feel that they would should have been a little bit better, in my humble opinion, because they're gonna they're not exactly premier quality. They're just average quality, mediocre quality. So let's go in the restroom. You have a couple uh, areas that hang odds and ends, and of course you can replace that modest fan with a maxer fan with rain cover, or a fantastic, absolutely fantastic fan. Yes, that's a plastic toilet. You can replace it with a $200 ceramic toilet. That's your option. I'm pretty sure the dealership would be more than happy to switch it out for you. There's some storage underneath the sink. I couldn't close this door until I looked at that top. It's a askew by about a quarter inch. Things have to be adjusted. There's a sink with a black faucet, a power receptacle, and a mirror. Very nice. Right over here is the medicine uh, cabinet where you can put your toothbrush, your toothpaste, your hair products, your perfume, your cologne, your meds, whatever you want. You can put it back there. We have uh, two ways to access it. Let me turn around the camera so you can see my ugly mug. I apologize ahead of time. Oh my god. 
I'm about three inches uh, from the top, and I'm five feet ten, uh, wearing my tennis shoes. Yeah, that's good. Another uh, four inches or three inches. Again, I'm five ten, wearing tennis shoes. 170 pounds. Let me turn around the camera. And again, there's that door that's slightly ajar. Receptacles, place for your toilet paper. And coming down from that, uh, out of that uh, shower was an easy task. Plastic there. The shower surround is pretty solid, and also the area there. Yes, that's solid. And this is pretty solid too. Very well constructed. And stepping out of the shower was only a couple inches. An easy task for this 71 and a half year old dude. Now we're going to go check out the storage slash sleeping area. There's another control for the heater, air conditioner, and some switches, probably for the lights. Up top you have storage. You have two areas for storage. Again, let me show you the uh, quality of the uh, laminates. Very nice. Very nice, solid. Felt very solid with the hinges, the latches, and the locks. And the sequestering of the two sections, very nice. And again, there's the uh, little latch. A simple contrivance, but it works. Excellent. There's a little fan. Of course, you can replace that again. What I usually say with a Fantastic or Max Air fan. And there's your escape hatch right there. You can go outside. You can just, uh, you know, have the door open, have some nice fresh air, and you have four areas where you can uh, tie down items. I don't know what's behind this. It's probably some access. There's your antenna. I don't know where you can attach a TV. And there's your circuit breakers, 12 volt and alternating current. You can also sit on that little black area if you want. There's a Murphy bed. I couldn't get it to come down. I played with that little latch right there. That latch right there. And I couldn't get it to come down. If you're going to buy this unit, I would ask the salesman, can you uh, plop down this bed for me? Also, can you fix that uh, bathroom door? Uh, those are my only two complaints. Thank you very much. So this is a Norcold... Uh, DC 12 volt uh, refrigerator. In these side uh, cubbies, you can put canned items, some uh, condiments, but that's about it. They're pretty thin. I estimate they're about a good three inches. Can't put much in there, but it's perfect for condiments, your ketchup, your mayonnaise, your Diet Coke, your cervezas etc etc that's where you put your vegetables and your fruits and several you know areas there where you can put some more stuff and your freezer where you can put your popsicles your ice cream your TV dinners your frozen vegetables frozen whatever you want you can toss it in there so what do you think of this unit I really really like it don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this channel. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Muchas gracias ahead of time. And don't forget to leave your friendly comments uh, below. They are deeply appreciated. Muchas gracias. Thanks for checking out RV and Travel Adventures. My name is Jesus Manuel Menagarza. Hope you're doing fantastic. From Fort Worth, Texas. Gracias. Adios. Bye-bye.